हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट एब्डोमिनल कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम एब्डोमिनल कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम इज व्हेन द इंट्रा एब्डोमिनल प्रेशर इज मोर देन 20 मिलीमीटर्स ऑफ एच देन वी कॉल इट हैज एब्डोमिनल कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम एट दिस हाई इंट्रा एब्डोमिनल प्रेशर द एब्डोमिनल स्ट्रक्चर्स आर कंप्रेस्ड लीडिंग टू द पलमनरी फेलियर एंड ऑल्सो मी सेंटरिक वैस्क्युलर कॉम्प्रोमाइज दिस इज बिकॉज वेन दे कंप्रेस द एब्डोमिनल स्ट्रक्चर्स द मी सेंटरिक वेजल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द ओमेंटम ऑल्सो गेट कंप्रेस्ड लीडिंग टू डिक्रीज ब्लड सप्लाई टू द एब्डोमिनल ऑर्गन कॉसिंग इसकीमिया then whenever the intra abdominal pressure increases the diaphragm because it cannot withstand this high pressure the diaphragm tries to elevate because of this elevation of diaphragm there will be the lungs will get pushed by this increased abdominal pressure thus leading to pulmonary failure the normal intra abdominal pressure is 5 to 7 mm of hg intra abdominal hypertension is called when the, the pressure is more than 12 mm of hg and we call it has abdominal compartment syndrome if the intra abdominal pressure is more than 20 mm of hg so the main etiology here is it occurs due to profound shock when there is profound shock we try to resuscitate the patient with large amounts of fluid and blood so because of whenever there is major visceral or abdominal injuries in such cases we have given large amount of fluids because first and foremost there is major visceral and abdominal injuries there is profound shock so we give lots of fluids to the patient due to that there is sudden increase in intra in intra abdominal pressure which decreases the peak inspiratory pressure due to the compression of the lungs this will lead to hypoxia hypercapnia and hypotension which finally decrease the venous return to the heart thus decreasing cardiac output decreases the renal blood flow with blood renal blood flow which in turn decreases the glomerular filtration rate which finally decreases the urine output decreased cardiac output causes decreased vis visceral blood flow so this peak this peak increase in inspiratory pressure also increases the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure it increases the intrapleural pressure and also central venous pressure so these are the different uh, clinical features that is differences in pressures which you see these are very important then diagnosis is bl bladder pressure is um is the important thing for diagnosing the intra abdominal pressure because this bladder pressure will represent the intra abdominal pressure gold standard indirect method for diagnosing or for measuring intra abdominal pressure is urinary bladder bladder catheter then we have three four, sorry four grade rates of intra abdominal pressure based on bladder pressure grade 1 if there is the if the bladder pressure is between 12 to 25 sorry 12 to 15 mm of hg then that is grade 1 and there will be no clinical features we have to give normal volumic resuscitation in grade 2 if the bladder pressure is 12, 16 to 20 mm of hg and there is oliguria and splanchnic hypoperfusion here splanchnic hypoperfusion here we give hypovolemic resuscitation is planned in stage 3 the bladder pressure will be 21 to 25 mm of hg here the patient suffers from anuria and increased ventilatory pressure ventilation pressure and finally treatment is decompression then in stage 4 the bladder pressure is more than 25 mm of hg and this shows anuria and increased ventilatory pressure and the treatment is emergency re exploration is done so this is about the abdominal compartment syndrome thank you for watching